Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guess what we are doing today? You got it. We are going to, well, we aren't going to do it. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to put on my makeup this morning with you live. And I don't know, just hang out with you and talk about life and talk about new makeup and just have some fun together on this Thursday. That's what day it is, morning. But first, look at my cute little coffee mug. I think I have really cute coffee mugs. But this one says, I know you love coffee, but you love me more from the dog. And she is absolutely right on that one. Now, if you saw my post, you know, Indy had to go in for a little medical procedure this week because she swallowed a foxtail. And if you don't know what a foxtail is, it's a weed that grows here in California and it has like barbs on it. So she chewed really quick when we were on a walk. She went to swallow it and the barbs got stuck in her throat. So it wouldn't go down and it wouldn't come up and it was starting to swell the poor baby. So she had to get sedated. They went in there, they took it out and she's fine. She's right there and she's watching us this morning. Um, oh, and yesterday I usually do my lives on Wednesdays but I wasn't live yesterday because my youngest son, Brandon, actually um, moved back home. And I'm super excited about that. It's I'm really glad that he um, made that decision. So now Robert and Brandon both live here and I'm a lucky mom. So that's what I say. All right. So what are we doing today? Today we are, again, we're going to put on my makeup. and But I want to show you, I got some new stuff from Elf. I ordered some new makeup. And we're going to open that up and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to try. So let me take a little drink. And let's open this up. Oh, and look at my cute little outfit I'm wearing. I got to show you this. I am mixing patterns today. I have my cute little dicky overalls on. They have stripes on them. And then I have this cute little floral cami underneath. I got the little cami from Levi's in San Francisco when I was on a trip there a couple of years ago. But I think it's really cute how the patterns mix. And then I have it with my um, Converse Rentstar Hikes. So that's what I'm wearing today. Now let's look and see what I got. Ah. Ooh, I also want to tell you... Um, I've been trying Elf's Holy Hydration. It's their new moisturizer. And so far what I've tried is the um, cleansing balm. And oh my land to that stuff is amazing. So I ordered the rest of the, um, the like all their hydration stuff, like their moisturizer and their cleanser. And um, I'm going to be trying that out. So I'll let you know if the rest of their products, which I'm sure they are going to be, are as good as I hope they are going to be. So, uh, very well packaged. Uh, okay. All right, there's the... I was opening it up backwards. All right. Oh, my gosh. I could have probably have done this beforehand, but this is like all the excitement of what's new? What did Lonnie get? Ugh. Okay. So the first thing I got in here is look at this cute little, um, this is a little cleansing sponge. So I already told you I'm using their um, cleansing balm. So I'll put it on and then I'll be like, and I could have a little smiley face. So that will make me happy. So this is a little sponge that's going to go with my cleansing balm. Then I got, um, ooh, I got two metallic eyeshadows. I got a purple because I think purple with green eyes is super fun. And then I got this color. I'm all like, why did I buy this color? Um, this is called Little Dipper. And it's kind of like a little pink. So I we'll try these another day. But for today, we're not going to try this one. Because, ooh. Oh, and then... I also got a little sample of their Woe Glow. Now their, like I said, their Glow Foundation with their Glow Series and their Holy Hydration, amazing. Now I heard that this is just like, what's that Gwyneth Paltrow one? The Goop, the Goop product that's super expensive. I've heard that this is just the same. 
So we're going to put a little woe glow sunscreen on today. And then this is what I'm super excited about. And you're going to understand why I'm wearing overalls as soon as I show you this palette. In fact, before I show you the palette, let me put this on because I want this to sink into my skin before I start putting on makeup. So this is sunscreen and it's supposed to be, it's 30, 30 SPF, which is good. That's what we want. It's sealed to make sure that it's all good. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It, it's not white, so it's not going to, and it's not clear. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's just the, doesn't smell. Do you like my little sniff tests? I'm like, <laughs> so we got that. Yeah, we're going to rub that in. Supposed to give a little glow. Do you remember when I started my whole um, makeup journey? If you remember, if you, no, if you watched my makeup journey, I was all about matte foundation and matte powder. And I didn't like the shiny look and I didn't like the glow. And what I have learned and what I have um, become accustomed to is that the products that we get, if we can get like a shine or a glow, it doesn't necessarily mean like our skin is oily. It just means that it's fresh. So I have definitely learned how to embrace more of a glowing skin, not so much an oily skin, but more of a glow. So I got myself out of that whole thought of um, not wanting a shine to wanting a, a glow. I keep seeing somebody um, driving by. So let me see. Let me do this really quick. Welcome. Hold on. Welcome everyone. And if you all have questions or something, absolutely, by all means, let me know. Um, if you have any comments, type them in there. This is a, this is a, um, a us thing, not just a me thing. So when I was on the e.l.f. website, which that's where I've been getting all my e.l.f. products lately, I found this eyeshadow palette. And this is called Denim Days. It was a limited um, palette that they did with American Eagle. And I love denim. I absolutely love denim. And so I got this. Let's look and see what we got. Okay. So there it is right there. And bop, 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 bop. Ooh. This is why I got this one. I absolutely love these colors. Okay, and I'm not gonna be one of those influencers. Let me tell you right now. I am not gonna be one of those influencers because I see it all the time where they're all like, oh, oh my, God, I've never seen a brown so brown. Oh, this purple is the most purple I've ever seen. I don't wanna do that. You know what? I can't do that. I am just not that person. But I will tell you right now, it's really pretty. And the purples are very purple and the browns are very brown. And look how cute. It has like a little tag because you know like how your jeans have tags. So let me just tone it down a little bit and show you the colors. So there's a brown series. There's a blue. And then there's a purple. Now, I've done purple before because I think, again, I think purple's really pretty with green eyes. But today I wanted to try the blue ones. And so we're going to do that because I've never done, um, I won't say I've never done blue eyes or blue eyeshadow, but I haven't done blue eyeshadow in a very long time. So we're going to do this middle palette. So we're going to do this. This is new. And then, um, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to try this one out too. This is that pink concealer that's all over TikTok, all over the internet. This stuff is supposed to be super great. So I'm trying this out that's new. And then I got a new brow wax or brow glue. So we're going to try this one out, this one out, that new color. And let's start putting my makeup on. So that way I will have makeup on. So yesterday, like I said, um, I usually 
I'm here. I usually am live on Wednesdays, but um, Brandon moved back home, like I said. And again, super excited. I am just super duper duper excited. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to primer my eyes. I use a MAC paint pot. The color is called Painterly. And it's just a clear primer. I've been using this one for a really long time. And I am, you know, that's just the thing about makeup. Makeup is all about trying something. If you like it, you keep using it. If you don't like it, you stop using it. So I'm just going to primer my eye. And then, oh, 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 oh. I want to tell you my skincare routine really quick before I go any farther. So right out of the shower, I started with my skincare routine. Now, I hear all the time, like, apply your moisturizer first thing out of the shower while your pores are open. And I have been seeing all sorts of TikToks about dermatologists coming on saying that your pores don't open and your pores don't close, which doesn't make any sense because every time I go to get a facial, they, they put steam on my face and I'm all like, what is right? What is wrong? So I'm going to do a little research into it because I want to know, you know what? Do my pores open and then I put my moisturizer on or do my pores just stay the same? And you know what? This is all a big myth. So I'm going to look into that. But anyway, I started with this MAC. This is a strobe cream. Again, it has a glow to it and it has a little bit of a pink tint, which um, I like this one. I like this moisturizer a lot. Then I've been using my rock. Um, this is for my under eyes. And what I really like about this one is it's it's really, it's kind of like um, chapstick, but for your eyes. And I put it underneath my eyes and I let that sink in. So I've been using my rock. And then I am always going cuckoo for Cocoa Pups over my e.l.f. mineral infused face primer. <sighs> Sadly. I'm out, but I had just enough to put on this morning. So I put that on also. I let it all sink in and that's where we are at today. Now, a hack that I want to tell you about that I really, really, really like is I saw this where you take a face powder, like a setting powder, and you put that on you put that on. If I could find my brush, I would put it on. But you put it on over your primer and you put it on before you put your eyeshadow on. And what that does, I'm back. And what that does is it helps alleviate any uh, kind of like creasing in the corner of your eyes. Now, for some reason, this eye right here, um, whenever I would go to put my makeup on, it would like go right into like these little creases and almost like these little wrinkles right in the corner of my eye. And it used to drive me crazy because it's like I had stripes right here. And ever since I found this hack, it's alleviated all of that. So I take my little um, setting powder and I put it right over that primer I just put on. Then when I go to put on my eyeshadow, it applies much easier. So I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Prime, prime, prime. Prep, prep, prep. Ready, ready, ready. There you go. Now, let's see what I'm going to do. Let's see what colors we have. I have a new setup and it's driving me crazy. Yes, the last week when I was shaving my or buzzing my hair, I dropped my mirror and I, I broke my mirror. And I've been trying to come up with a new kind of like setup here to where it's really easy to have my stuff available. And I'm still, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So, we are going to go in with, hmm, okay, what color do we want to start with? 
Let's start. Ooh, let's start with that one. This is to die for, but it's die like D Y E, not like, you know, not like you're not going to be here anymore. And we're going to apply that. And we're going to put it over here. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty, subtle color. So we're going to put, 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 put. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I always do that. I don't know if you ever watch any of my shopping videos, but whenever I'm thinking about something, I'm always like, and it's weird. But this is a pretty kind of like, almost like a bluish purple. And I think it's really pretty. Now, another, <laughs> another hack that I saw that I really like is if, if you have hooded eyes and if you stop right at your crease, you're really not going to see a whole lot of what you have there. So I always go just, Indy, it's Brandon. So I just always go a little bit higher. Okay, so we have that applied. Now, I think I'm, shush, I'm going to go back in with my brush. And I'm going to go to the darker Indio. And I'm going to. Put that right in the corners of my eyes. You can come in. It's okay. And you just, as long as she doesn't knock anything over, I'm all good. And I'm going to put that right in the corners. I think that's really pretty. I like that. And we're going to, oh, I threw a cardboard box in your room so Pam could play with it. Oh, cool. So that's why there's a box in there. Okay. okay. And we're going to put it right there. So far, I'm really liking this. I want to go as, ex I was like trying to watch for Brandon come in and tell Indy to be quiet and do this all at the same time. And I put a little bit more blue on than I was planning on. But I think today, you know what, today I'm just going to go with a bright, bold makeup look. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, and I like using my fingers to kind of just blend it out. And what I do, see that look again. Hey, Brandon. Oh, never mind. I think I got it. I'm back. Okay, I forgot my towel. So I like using my fingers to blend out my eyeshadow, and I always go from the inside out. So that way I take the lighter and I kind of blend it into the darker instead of the other way around. And then I'm going to clean up right there, clean up right there. And that's what we have so far. And so far, I really like it. Now, what we're going to do is let's go in with this real super light, and we're going to put that on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start right about here, and I'm just going to go that way. So, yeah, 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 that's what we're going to do. And let me find my correct brush. And we're going to go in. All right. So, so far, I really like it. Like I said, I haven't worn blue eyeshadow. I can't even remember the last time I wore blue eyeshadow, but I'm liking it. You know what? I am going to so far give this one a thumbs up. Again, not a crazy influencer thumbs up, but just a thumbs up. So I'm going in with the lighter one, and I'm going to put that right here. Just to kind of give it a little pop. Going in on the other eye, and do that. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
do, 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 do. Okay. So now I am going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go back in with this darker Indio. And what I want to do is I want to just take it down a little bit in the outer corners of my eye. I'm not going to go all the way across because I don't want it to be too heavy looking underneath my eye. Again, as we get older, we have a tendency to get a little bit of a darkening underneath our eyes. And I always try to keep my makeup as light under there as possible. So I just put it right there in the corners of my eyes. Now what we're going to do is, this is one of my favorite brushes. I'm just gonna move my mirror because I don't need it because I'm actually able to see myself well enough on my computer. But I took that dark India with this brush and I'm going to go in and put a, put a little bit right here. And a little bit on the top of my eye, right like that. So I have one contact for reading. This is for my reading eye, this is for my seeing far away. So when I try to put makeup on this eye, this eye is not showing me what I'm doing on this eye. So I actually do a lot of my makeup by guesswork and just by repetition. So if you're out there and you're like, oh, I can't do makeup because I can't see, well, I can't see half of my face half of the time. But there you go, there's my eyes so far. And I, again, I'm really liking this. Now I'm not done yet because what I wanna do is I wanna go in with a teeny tiny little brush. Let's find my little teeny tiny little brush. And I wanna go with this real pretty light light right here. This is called mom jeans. And I wanna put a little bit of it right in here. And a little bit of it, just like that. Just kind of give it a cute little, boop, cute little blue pop. What do you think? I like it. I think it's I think it's pretty and it's different than the purple that I've been wearing, but I really like it. So so far, I am going to give this an A plus. That's how much I like it. All right. So now I do want to go in because I do want to do a little bit more of a smoky, or not really smoky, but a little bit more of a liner on top. Going in with my house gel pencil underneath my waterline, just to finish that out. Hello, Brady Hogan, how are you? All right. Okay, so let me take a look at it. Because as soon as I said I didn't need my mirror, I needed my mirror. Well, I just wanna make sure that I'm going down far enough there far enough there. Yeah, I like it. I am, I am very much liking that. Okay, so now with my eyeshadow on, I didn't get any really underneath my eyes. So yay for me. I'm going to go in with another layer of almost like moisturizer. I have the glow sunscreen on, but I'm going to go in with my halo liquid filter. And I'm going to put this on almost like I do moisturizer. And this is a very good way to get that glow on your skin. 
and I put it all over my face. Now with that halo liquid filter glow thingy, you can put it as a highlighter. You can put it um, like I am all over your face. You can blend it with your regular foundation. I personally have found that the easiest way for me is to do it exactly like I'm doing it. I just put it on as an under base to my foundation. Gives my face a glow. Look at how glowy. I'm all like, look how glowy. There you go. I have my glow going. Now, we're going to try this new product. We're going to try this pink concealer. And what I'm going to do is I want to kind of have like a little bit of that underpainting like I um, have been showing you. But I didn't want to put it underneath my halo glow. So I'm basically going to put this between my, I have my halo glow. I'm going to put this on underneath my eyes to brighten that up. And then I'm going to put my foundation over the top of it. Because I have found in the past that if I put on my concealer, like over the top of my foundation, then um, I end up getting, because I have fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes, I find that I uh, it kind of like pools in there and I have been out and about and I'll walk by a mirror. I'll be like, Ooh, I'll be like, what is wrong with my eyeballs? And then I will realize it's my, my makeup is sitting right there. Yes. I'm trying to use my teeth to get this open. Do not judge me. I cannot for the life of me get this open. Yay! I did it. All right. So, you ready? This is my favorite part of getting new makeup. Listen. Okay, we're going to turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, I'm starting to see it. Now. How am I going to apply this? I'm not going in directly because I do end up getting quite a bit of product, but I'm going to put a little bit on my finger and I'm going to pat it under there. And we're going to put that on. Again, I don't want to have too, too much just because for the simple fact is I want it to brighten up my eyes. I don't want to end up looking like I have, you know, too much makeup on under there. So I'm going to gently just go in there with my finger and brighten up underneath my eye before I put on my foundation. And there we go. You can hear Robert in the background. So if you are ever watching any of my videos and you hear screaming in the background, it's actually Robert. He um, he streams on Twitch and that's what you hear. So there you go. Gonna check my mirror. This is my new mirror, by the way, because I broke my other one, remember? All right, I got that in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my regular foundation. I have my brush and I have, this is e.l.f. This is the Flawless Satin Foundation. I'm only going to use one pump. Good Goodness, goodness, I'm almost out of this too. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put a little bit on. I'm going to work that all in. And this is just going to give a finishing look because I have on the, the glowing sunscreen. I have on my e.l.f. liquid filter and now I have on my foundation. So I get that all situated and I'm a big fan of finishing it off with my sponge. You can put it on by with your hands. You can put it on with a sponge. Again, I just find for me personally, I like the technique of getting it all kind of moved around with my brush. And then I finish it with my sponge. 
because the last thing I want to do is rub off all my makeup I just put on. That would not make any sense. People are walking by. I am like that. I, I don't wouldn't say I'm like a nosy neighbor, but when people walk by my house, I know. I'm all like, hmm, unauthorized. Okay. So I have that all worked in. And I personally think foundation can be your, your best friend or your worst enemy. And you need to find a foundation that works for you. You want to find a foundation that gives you coverage, but not so much coverage that you look um, like it pulls into your fine lines or wrink and wrinkles. That's why I like to use just one pump of the regular foundation over the top of the, um, the e.l.f. liquid glow. And there we go. Now we are going to move on to this new NYX. This is the brow glue. I got the thick it and stick it. And I like that. I, I think I just got the wrong color. It, it has a red shade to it. And I have found, again, in my makeup journey that it's okay to have brows. I was always under the impression like if you have gray hair, you needed to have more subtle eyebrows and that's not necessarily the case. So I am all about putting a little bit of color on my brows. Now, the way that I saw this done on TikTok, of course, is you mess up your brows. So I got like crazy um, old man eyebrows right now. <laughs> I do, I do. And I'm going to need the mirror for this one. But you uh, kind of just mix it all around. You, you put it all around. And then once you have that all worked in there, that's when you kind of move it around. So let's see if I can do this. Let's see if TikTok did right by me. Hmm. What do you think? I think what I need to do, I think I am in trouble with my eyebrows. But I'm not giving up and I'm not going to panic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, like a little spoolie brush that doesn't have the color on it, and I'm going to move it around where I want it to go. There. I think I saved my eyebrows. Yay! Because it was it was looking a little scary there for a minute. The color that I'm using is dark brown. What do you think? I think okay, I wouldn't go any lighter than this and I you know, whether it's the thicket or the stick it or this the brow glue, it does its job. It's like sticking there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. No complaints. Now I'm going to finish off with my L'Oreal telescopic lift. I accidentally ordered two of these when I got them. So once I'm done, um, once I've used this, I'm going to move on to a different brand and try that out. But so far, I've really been liking this one. You know, it does its job. I was wearing the MAC, um, the MAC mascara, but this one actually, I think, does a better job. It's cheaper and it does a better job. So I usually put two to three coats on my top. I say this all the time, too. But two to three, blink, 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 blink. What do you think, Indy? Blink, 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 blink. And then I'll very lightly go in underneath. Just like that. All right. I think today's makeup is turning out cute. All right. I got this the other day. I've been wearing this and I absolutely love this. This is the blush balm from... Um, <sighs> revolution, revolution, revolution. Yeah. 
And this is called the Dolly Rose. And one thing that I've learned about blush is you actually, um, you can put it higher than I was normally putting it. Because I was putting it like right here and I actually like going a little bit higher now. And I see all sorts of um, creators, they go up in their forehead, they go on their eyes, they go down, they gonna, they put a lot of this blush on. I'm not gonna go too, too crazy, but I am going a little bit higher than I normally have. Um, oh, you have? Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I had to get mine at Ulta Beauty and it is 100% worth it. I am in love with this blush. So if you've been holding out, I'm gonna say get it. I'm gonna, once I'm all done with everything, I am going to, um, I'm going to put links for the makeups. And if you want to get it, I definitely say you should. Because I love it. And as you notice, I go up a little bit higher. I'm going up a little bit higher than I have been. It's a real subtle, very soft blush. And then with my little sponge, I put a little bit on my nose. Now I am really truthfully, I am pulling back on my contour and my bronzer because what I have noticed is that when I'm out and about, I have kind of like a weird muddy look and I love bronzer. I'm going to be putting some on here shortly, but I'm not going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs like I was. I was putting bronzer and contour all over my face. And it was not, um, it wasn't working for me to tell you the truth. It was just making me, um, I don't know, it was making me look kind of weird. And I think I look weird. I look weird enough on my own. I don't need to make my makeup do that. So I am going to take a little bronzer and put it right along the top of my forehead and then along my neck underneath my jawline because I do want to give a shadow on my neck just like that there you go now the only thing we have left to do is my my lipstick if I can find my stuff because we all know how organized I am today. Where did, oh, here it is. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that, um, the, the primer, oh, what blush is that? That, oh, what brush? This brush right here, um, the one you did your bronzer with, this is an e.l.f. Uh, I got this at, I think I got this at Marshall's for like two bucks and it's an elf and it's a blending one. And it kind of like, it looks smished like that. And I like it because I go straight across and it doesn't make too dark of a band. Then with the little flat, then I just pull it straight down. But this is an elf blending brush. So now going in, with my primer and you know what I think because I have the blue I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a red lip that I'm going to remove it and put a gloss over the top this stuff right here this is the vinyl from this is the color wicked and what brand I'll have to put the brand down there. I think, the, oh, Maybelline. It says right there, Maybelline. This is color Wicked. And I'm just gonna go in. Smoosh. Smoosh. See, I, I love, oh my gosh. I love a red lip. I was never, brave enough to do a red lip before I started doing my makeup with y'all. But I have to tell you, I am, I am in love with a red lip. Now, 
So it's on. It's a little tacky. So I'm going to let it sit there for a minute. And then I am going to, uh, let's use... I'm going to use my fat oil. This NYX fat oil, I saw this and it compares to Rihanna's fat oil and a lot of more expensive fat oil. This is really super affordable and I love it. And then I'm going to put a little shine to it. And that, my friends, is my makeup look for the day. I have my new blue denim eyes. I have my red lips. I have my glow underneath. Um, yeah, I, I really liked everything I did. I like the products that I used. The only one that, you know, I liked it all. I was going to say the, the, the brow glue. I, I had a little bit of a like, oh no moment, but I worked it out just by using that spoolie with no um, product on it. And it turned out fine. But there you go. That's my makeup. Oh, and I hope that y'all had fun hanging out with me. Um, I have to run do an errand, but when I get back, I will put all of the links down below. So if you want to check out anything I used, by all means do that. If you ever want to shop my look, that link is in my link tree, which is in my bio. And I hope that you had fun hanging out with me. So I will, um, I have a video that I'm going to post tomorrow, then I'll be back live on Saturday. So until then, y'all remember, I don't know why I'm yalling. I, my mom was from Arkansas. So every once in a while, I, it comes out, but I hope y'all, I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, remember, be, be bright, be bold, be brave, be denim, be just whoever you want to be. And I will see you on Saturday. Bye everyone.